Hey guys, Mike from Biz Talk with Mike. Today's video is about being successful as an entrepreneur. So let's get into it. You know, a lot of people out there want to be successful, whether they're in the food business, the financial services business, the real estate business. A lot of people talk about getting into business for themselves, being an entrepreneur. Um, but I just wanted to state that it's not easy. You have to be willing to put in the sacrifice of time, effort, and frankly, thinking and breathing business 24-7. Now, someone like myself, I'm not happy until I'm at the very top of the entrepreneurship ladder, which means that even when I'm home, I'm always thinking about the business, how I can improve it, what's going on. I'm always looking for opportunity. It's Saturday today. I'm working in the office. I'm going to put in a half day and probably leave at about 5 p.m. today. Usually I work till about 7, 8 o'clock at night. And uh, I'll probably, probably be in on Sunday doing the same thing, working and uh, just organizing the office, making sure we're up and running and ready to go for Monday. So I'm always looking for opportunity. I'm never, ever not thinking about the business. Now, there will be a time where you do want to relax and, and just take a day for yourself, and that's fine. But for the most part, if you're going to get into business for yourself, you have to be prepared to make the sacrifice of your time. And... It's tough because if you have a family with you know kids and a wife and then you have a household, um, you have to make time for them as well. But you know if you want a successful business, it's it's a really tough you know way to split your time. So you just have to figure that out. Um, so today, like I said, I'm here. I'm working the business just like every other entrepreneur that's hardworking. But um, I get a little extreme on the working ethic and the work ethic. And that's because I want to beat out everybody and I want to beat my competition. And I want to be the best in my field and the best entrepreneur that I can be. And I want you to be the best entrepreneur and business person that you can be. So never stop. Keep pushing. And always make sure that you're just, um, you know, you're not slipping. You're not getting behind. Always be ahead of the game. Know what's going on in your business. Don't let someone else control your business. Know what you're doing. And always seek knowledge. Keep reading books about your business and about business in general. Keep watching videos like this. And you will gain a lot of knowledge. I actually look at many different videos from other entrepreneurs around the country through YouTube. And it helps me gauge where I'm at uh, in my business. I don't compare myself to them. Um, but I do take tips and I do take advice and I look into what I can improve on my end. Don't compare yourself to anybody else because it'll hurt. <laughs> if somebody's making $100 million a year and you're making you know, $500,000 a year um, or you're making $100,000 a year or you're making nothing, let's say you're making $10,000 a year, don't gauge yourself against those people. Always compete against yourself. I am in competition with myself. I don't care about the competition. I watch the competition. I see what they're doing. But I always try to improve on my knowledge, my business, everything that I do, I'm trying to get to the next level and I'm competing against myself. So always think in those terms and you won't be disappointed. And take your time. Uh, becoming a millionaire does not happen overnight. It takes a lot of time to get resources in place, set up a system. Another thing to be successful in business, it's all about systems. Yes, in the beginning, you're going to have to wear many hats and do everything yourself, from accounting to bookkeeping to organization to management to training to marketing to uh, decor of your office, everything. You're going to have to do everything when you're only you know one person or two people, maybe three. Who knows what structure you have. If you have a partner, that's better yet. Make sure you get along with that partner and do everything in writing and get along with that partner. Um, but in the beginning, you're going to have to do a lot of stuff. That's going to require six to seven uh, days a week of your time, sometimes eight, 10 hours, 15 hours a day, who knows, whatever it takes. The other thing is always get stuff in writing. I can't stress this enough. Always make sure you put your agreements in writing. Even my best partners have everything in writing between uh, them and I. And that is because I don't, it's not because I don't trust them. I don't trust their memory and I don't trust my memory. So in a year from now, when I make an agreement with somebody, if we forget what we said, okay, and what we're doing, 
All we have to do is go back into the written agreement and we honor those agreements to a T. We honor our agreements. We don't do anything verbal. That's how partnerships fall apart when everything's verbal and it's it's loose. Make sure your contracts are tight, everything is, is acknowledged, and if you're unsure of something while you're making up those contracts, or if you're unsure and something's not clear in your mind and you think, well, we'll handle it if, if when we cross that bridge, don't even attempt to do that. Handle it with the partner now up front. You have to think about the future. You have to look long-term, not short-term. An entrepreneur and, and strong business owner looks ahead at two, three years down the road. Um, also, what could happen in the courtroom? Um, you, know, you have to think about a, anything that could happen, a breakup of a partnership, something that could happen. You have to look at what could happen from a judge's point of view. Do you have a contract? Is it spelled out? Is everything clear? A judge is going to go based on that contract. And if you and your partner know everything in that contract and have the same expectations, you shouldn't have a problem. But if you go in there unclear and there's a problem and you have to go to court, you may lose. You may have a problem. There, there's a lot of things that could happen without a written agreement between partners. A handshake is fine. Um, you can, you know, do a handshake. Um, trust the person's word, but trust but verify as Reagan, our, one of our ex-presidents, used to say, trust but verify with the Russians. I trust you. I trust everybody. But we need to verify. We need to have agreements because people forget. And that's where you run into the problems. So so keep pushing. Make sure you're working hard on your business. Get all the knowledge you can. Have things in writing. And do what you say you're going to do. And just be a person of your word. That's all you have to remember. If you say something, you're going to do something, honor that. Even if it wasn't the best deal originally, you know, you're going to have to honor that. Um, but just make sure going forward, uh, you think through all your deals, transactions, all your dealings with partners. Make sure you think it through. Just don't get involved with something right away. And make sure your partner is a good fit for you if you have one. Um, so until next time, have a great day. And uh, keep pushing in business. And uh, keep making things happen. Remember, it's going to be all up to you to make things happen. Do not rely on other people. That's all I can say. Rely on yourself. Have a great day.